I always wanted to paint a seascape. During my journey, I've stumbled upon Amber from Mama Things Crafts. Her artwork showed me a very simple, quick landscapes and seascapes that are perfect for warm up and I love them from the bottom of my heart. I can spend endless hours painting those little, little things. They are very simple, which is nice. I love it. But I would like to try something more complicated because I was always fascinated by the paintings with water, with oceans that capture the, that flowy, that subtle flow, that subtle movement of the waves. I mean, like, how? How you people do that? It's... How? Why? How? What, what, what is it? it in your hands that you are able to make this right i found something and i watched a bit and it looks like like something for me easy watercolor misty ocean for beginners it's from calliope liviaki and that's gonna be the tutorial i will follow today my brain is 100 percent sure we are able to pull it off let's see if my hands agree <laughs> here's my phone we will watch the tutorial on it I will switch between it and my reference photo. Let's let let's get started. Eight. Add a small amount of water in your brush and spread it out throughout the paper so you have a thin layer of water. And you need to do this in order to use the wet on wet technique. So now that we're going to spread the first layer of color, the watercolor can fade in and feather on the paper without creating any harsh lines or... All right, um, so wet on wet, flat brush, wetting this half and this half. So here's my reference. We will start with the light blue on the top. I have cheat sheet up in there. Light blue, okay, 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 all right. Then for the sky, like go with a little more loose kind of kind of thing maybe i will do the clouds i'm not sure we will see i'm gonna be more focused on doing the you know water part rather than the sky but we will see how it will turn out uh, maybe i will do clouds later we will see we will see we will see you will find all the supplies in the description oh, oh. and the paper is already dry okay okay all right so here we go we go with the blue thin wash. I need to remember that it needs to be like a thin, thin wash. Now creating this little bit of orangey. This, okay, and I will, it's also a little pink-ish. So we will just like dab or like some, uh, I really, I'm really using the colors I have in front of me. So it's very random. Mm, okay, this, yeah, okay, this color is nice. I'm not really happy. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be. I overdid the blue, so I'm gonna remove it with the paper it's wet enough it's thin enough to be removed easily i think that light wash of color is like a little bit too light for my liking so i will intensify it i will add a little bit of intense orange like at the bottom here. We will put the darker color here anyways. I think I don't need to be like as careful as, as uh, she because she like does something a little bit different. We are, I'm just gonna uh, treat that part very loosely and i cannot say i'm like very very sure about gradients but i know what kind of effect i want to achieve and i kind of know how to how to do it so that's why i'm allowing myself to go a little off and now i will add a little bit of orange intense orange splatters 
to have that orange uh, sky reflection part too. Um, I'm just gonna do the splatter so the colors don't mix too much and they don't create the, uh, that muddy brown effect. Um, I'm just like tapping it in and hope for the best. <laughs> There we have it. I'm just gonna take a clean brush, clean it up, um, remove the excess water and slightly soften the, the little spidery, uh, spidery edges we got here. There we have it. Let's see what the tutorial has for us. I will skip some parts. Uh, that I feel I don't need so if you want to uh, do it like she does it well watch her tutorial okay I I will skip to the part sky and then leave it as it is because we are going to work on it later on okay so this is this part and here we go with waves after mixing an almost black color with the indigo blue and the black, we will start creating the waves. Now, this is a very important step and you may think it is too complex. Okay, so before we go further, I will mix not maybe black and indigo, only like black and more purple-ish, because I, I feel like the, the waves in my reference photo are more purple-ish but I will add some blue but but uh, first of all the purple so here I am I think that should be enough okay I'm gonna dry this now let's watch what is there next but hear me out first of all you should not think about painting waves since if you look closer everything is a bit abstract and just shapes and the best way I can describe it is it is like painting mountains. I mean if you look closely the shapes are just like mountain tops. They are a bit triangle with curves and then they also have the valley which are the small lines on their left or right side. So for me it was like painting a scenery with mountains and a valley in front of them. <laughs> I don't know if you see it too, but I hope that helps you out. Also, I started out by adding the darker parts first. I, I, it actually really helps to have it laid like, out like that. that. That is what made me want to try this tutorial, because it is explained very, very, very well and in simple terms. Now I get it, it's like mountains, so it's, it's easier to conceptualize for, for, for me, so... Yeah, we will do exactly that. Uh, paint a little bit of mountains. Because this will help me set the values and also after you actually put down the darker part, which is the main wave form, then I shade and paint around them. And generally, then these darker parts can work as a guide where to keep your light parts or create your mint values. For these type of paintings, once again, you have to be patient and create many layers. You don't have to rush anything. Do small movements. And because with watercolors, you cannot go back. And your whitest part is the white of the paper. If you're not sure about something, just keep building it slowly. Okay, so I guess we are up to building it slowly. Uh, I will try to make it with those two brushes. So, yeah, here we go.
this this is not as easy as it looked on tutorial this is actually very stressful and right now i am kind of panicking i don't know i i just i don't know guys it, it, i'm scared i i am really 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 uh scared i i'll like turn on the tutorial to see uh, what to what to do next mm. i already know what i did wrong my my waves are like too too spiky like too too much of a triangle they should be like more flat than than like that Yeah, I need to like do something with this now, uh, because that's that's what I that's why I started to work on those, because that's what I've rem reminded myself of. So um, yeah, here's the thing I did uh, wrong already, like two things. Uh, can I flatten this a little bit? Wow, well, well. um, yeah, all right. I will try to flatten the the most spiky ones, and see what we achieve. Okay, I will leave it as it is. It's, it's already, like, uh, in my opinion, a little bit too dark, but yeah, okay. I keep trying to darken the horizon by adding more color but always remember to keep it wet so it can feather out and fade. Another great tip for paintings like this is whenever you are wetting your page, you should probably wet the whole page so you can be completely sure that there will be no harsh lines of your brush strokes. But also be careful to use a clean wet brush in the area that you don't want to add any more color or make darker. Now you see me do exactly the same as I did before, but in a Okay, so I think in my reference photo, let me check. Yeah, you see, in my in my photo, the horizon is like clean cut. Yeah, and I I should like more look more on my reference photo. Cause, yeah, my waves are way too dark. I wonder if there is any ways to save it now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because as I said, the more we go closer to the horizon, the smaller our waves will be. Yeah, as you can see, it's like my, my waves are way too, way, way, way too detailed. I would say they are not as soft um, as, as hers. What I'm about to do is to add a little bit of foam to brighten the the space out because I am terrified to like add more water on it or do anything more watery on it because it, this is dark and it's gonna spread like crazy it's gonna muddy the whole thing down so I will try to add white gouache on top of it but I will I, will, I want to check like what, what's, what's next Special and for me, gold details always do the part. 
So I used my dip pen and my Winsor & Newton gold ink. Okay, so for details I will do like as I said, I will try to like add, for, first of all, I white, uh, white wash. Um, I'm just gonna do the little foamy, foamy foams where I think they could use some, 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 some bright and brightening up. I would say that that would be about about it. I want to see what she does with the gold. Once again, created small lines as the highlights of the waves, and I truly believe that this was the best choice I made because when you look at the painting on the top, you cannot see the sparkles. So I kept the moody misty vibes but when you move it around then you can see the sparkle and i just love it i am so so happy how this painting turned out and all right so yeah so she adds like the gold the details uh, i will leave it as it is uh, or or i will just add a little bit a little bit more dark details where where i feel like i overdid the the white, which I, I feel like I did a little bit. And I, I, I think that that will create something. Well, it I'm already not very happy with it. It's not going to get worse. Why not just do it a little bit like freestyling this a little bit. I, I, I really want to have the color horizon cut clean like this. Yeah, I like this this better now i will just dry it out completely and let's see how it turned out so as i thought removing the tape makes it look a little bit better i i i'm like on the fence with this one i I know I could do better and I'm not really happy how I don't think my hands um, caught up <laughs> with the, what, what the brain has thought but that is like my first time trying to paint the, the waves and I think that is a good lesson for all of us that it is important to try and it's not gonna look nice first time most of the times so that's a nice reminder for me too if you like my adventure with this tutorial subscribe to me like the video share it uh, drop your comment down below and have a nice calm relaxing day see you next time